Welcome back to RPG Elite, where we put the RP back into RPG, giving you tools and tips on how to make your RPG experience more immersive and enjoyable. Servant of Shiloh, I have returned once again. And if this is your first time coming to the channel, thank you very much. And for those of you who are returning, make sure that you go ahead and tell other people about the channel and what is up. You know, I got to say what's up to my fellow elites. You know, that's right. All right, y'all. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about icons. Now, this video is by request. This is not a video that I plan. It's a comment that was down. Um, I forgot which video it was. It was in this series. And did I say that last week was going to be the last part of the series? Well, this is technically, I mean, it is and it isn't. It's kind of part of the series. It still is because it's for the Numenera system in Foundry, Virtual Tabletop. So it's still kind of sort of a part of that series. So let's just say it's a part of the series. Um, but hey, anytime that you guys have an idea or you're wondering about something and you want me to do a video about it, go ahead, comments below. And if anything here is adding value for you and your RPG sessions, then go ahead and smash the like button. Smash that like button because you know YouTube loves that. And also at the same time, if it really is adding a lot of value and you are at least mildly entertained by some of the things that I do on here and you get good information, then consider subscribing. And I've come out with a video once every week for you because I'm your servant, but I'm serving the Shiloh first. What? All right, y'all, let's get straight into the video. All right. All right. So let's get going. One, two, three, boom. Okay. So here I am back in Foundry VTT, and I'm going to show you three places where I get my icons for any RPG that I run in Foundry, not just for Numenera, but any. Now the first obvious place to go and get your icons would be in Foundry itself. Now I'm a little slow in the uptake. So when I first got Foundry, I thought there were icons, but I did not know where to find them. And so I went looking for others, which is why I know of the other places that we're going to go over in this video. But yes, Foundry has a whole library of good quality icons you can use. And if you're playing Numenera specifically, you can get a little bit creative with it but there's plenty that you can use there. Now, the downside is that, yeah, since it is mostly fantasy that a lot of people are playing, most of the icons are gonna fall into that category. So you don't get that kind of techie science. Uh, you don't get a lot of those icons within the game itself, but you do get some, and you do get some other icons that you can legitimately used that are already in foundry so let me go and uh, show you where to get them if you don't know um so if i got a test cipher here and i'm going to click on the icon and it opens up to the svg icons which are the very generic icons that foundry itself uses and they're very generic but these aren't the ones i'm talking about i'm just going to click on this folder arrow right here and these are the ones I'm talking about all the rest of these are and let me show you what I'm talking about as you can see you know biologicals and all this stuff uh, you could use some of these right here in Numenera to be quite honest um, currency another one you could probably use in Numenera so you, you can really actually be very creative and use a lot of these in other RPGs that are non fantasy RPGs. But again, most of this skews to fantasy. Now, let me go ahead. I'm going to go to tools and I'm going to go to navigation. Oh, that looks kind of cool. We use that one. That can be kind of a cipher thing, I guess. Right? Yeah, why not? Let's choose that one. And there you go. So these are good, high quality icons. You can use them. And they're already inside of Foundry. But there's another place where I go and get my icons. And that's going to be over at craftpicks.net. Craftpicks.net. Now, at this place, they have a lot of great icons. Now, again, 
you're probably going to find mostly they're going to skew to the fantasy side but again you can use a lot of these for your numenera or any other non-fantasy campaign and let me tell you something folks these here these are fantastic icons i think they're better quality and actually the ones in foundry are high quality but these are just slightly better quality if you click on this and we're going to pull them up here yeah these are dope look at that these are dope so go to craftpicks.net and they have a section called freebies over here and you can click on those and you can get all of the free ones that you want you can download them and add them now i would not add these to your data folder directly now that's just me though i mean you can but i just i didn't because i just kind of use them as i go kind of deal and i don't want to just upload a whole bunch of stuff that i'm not going to use so but you can use these you know there's these kind of generic swords over here but these right here i don't know who it was specifically who made these but these are the bomb diggity i mean these are very good icons you get 50 in in them and they're really good but let me let you in on something and you may want to do this you'll see next to some of these it has this crown the crown means that that is for people who have a membership who can download those now you can get a membership here and you just click up here to membership and it's going to take you to the membership page and you can either go monthly or a year now if it's three dollars a month for a year that's 36 bucks or monthly is 15 bucks yeah it's really expensive expensive monthly right but if they don't change these icons all that much okay so what I mean, if you want to just do it for $15 and then cancel before your month is up, you can do that and just within that time, download all the icons that you want, which is what I did, by the way, it's exactly what I did. So if I go back here and just for these icons, I'm not talking about all the other icons that you just saw under the freebies. I'm just talking about these because these are the high quality ones. If you just did these icons and you bought a membership for a month, you get 815 icons, 815 of them. I did the math, folks. I did the math. That is 0 0.018 cents per icon. What does that mean? folks? It means that it's less than two cents an icon for crying out loud. And again, that's not including anything else that you find on craft picks that you would like to download the membership even for a month is a steal and i would highly recommend that you go and do it because i did it now if you want to do that i have an affiliate link down in the description below yeah i get a little skrilla for it but trust me on this you'll thank me later you'll get a lot of high quality icons and it will be it'll be a dream for you you will have and it's going to be obviously you're going to have more of a unique experience in your campaign because uh, you have all these different icons that everybody else doesn't have now you know if a couple people come through here and go and get a membership then obviously they're going to have them but at least you'll have you know 815 more icons that are off the chain so go to craftpicks.net and download them you can either go to the freebies and just do the freebies or you can get a membership for like a month or if you want to get a membership for a year i mean i personally i don't see the need for that but if you see the need for that go ahead do your thing and uh but at least come here and get these high quality icons download them use them until your heart's content and you'll be have 815 new top quality icons and affiliates link again in the description below and I've got one more place that I go to get my icons and that is over at open gamer oh, oh I thought I always think it's open gamer but it's opengameart.org opengameart.org and these are totally free and you can go and download them um, 
and some of these again you're going to skew to the fantasy side but again you're going to have to be a little bit creative and you can download some of these um and some of these are pretty they're pretty good like this let me click on this shield set right here now the shield set's not bad it's not bad i think it's pretty darn good and if, if you're playing a fantasy game then they're really cool you know um and they've got like swords you can see here they got lots of swords here they got some staffs down here um they've got some other things here some axes um they've got some that looks like resource stuff over here and they've got other stuff that you can download so go here opengameart.org come here browse they're all free so it's not going to hurt any so they're all free so go ahead download see which ones you like and uh add them to your repertoire inside of foundry vtt so those are three places where i go to grab my icons however those are not the only places where i get my icons there is another place where i get my icons and that place is not really a, it is a place per se but i create them i create my own icons and to show you that process and how i create my own icons i'm just going to go ahead and do another video now when it comes to these are just three places i go there are other places and i encourage you if you've got another place where you're finding really good icons go ahead and put them in the comments down below and just let everybody else know where they're at so they can go and get them and use them as well but in my next video i think it's going to be my next video um or soon here i'm going to go ahead and show you how i create my icons and it's very simple by the way extremely simple just like all the rest of the things that we've been doing but i create them and it's a truly unique experience for my players and it will be for yours also well there you have it folks numenera system icons in foundry virtual tabletop well until next week happy gaming